guys, Lee here, and I have another video for you today. Um, it's early morning. Uh, I'm setting up my slow cooker to make lunch for today. Um, so today I'm going to be making a white bean chicken chili. Um, we have friends coming to visit, and this is one of their favorite things, so I love to make it for them when they come. And I'm going to be making it today in my all-clad gourmet plus slow cooker. I love this because it really is an all-in-one um kitchen appliance. So I'm going to take the lid off and what I'm going to do is I have this on searing mode right now. So I'm going to add a little oil and it's super hot. I have it preheated to 450 degrees. If you do this on the stove, you can just put your pot on high. And I have a cup of shallot that I've diced up. You can also use onion here. Whatever you have on hand is just fine. And it starts to sizzle right away. So I'm just going to let that get a little bit of color. I'm gonna let this brown for about a minute, and then my next ingredient I'm gonna add is two packages of Curly's sauceless chicken. And I love this because I'm not a fan of canned chicken at all. Um, but my neighbor made this really good soup for me a couple of years ago. I was like, the chicken is so moist and it's so tender, and when he told me what he had used, I couldn't believe him. <laughs> so these are two packages of Curly's chicken. It's already cooked, and all you do is you just get it in there. Um, and it's already shredded, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna get this down in here. That's one, and there's two. So it's a lot of chicken, but it makes a lot of chili. I'm gonna stir this up because before I add in my liquid, I want this to just kind of meld with my seasoning. One teaspoon of granulated garlic. And I'm using a garlic seasoning that has a few more things in it, like oregano and bell pepper, but you could just use plain garlic. So one teaspoon of that in there. I like to put my seasonings in when I saute because then I feel like they get a good color and they kind of roast in with the flavor before I add my liquid. And I'm gonna add in one half teaspoon of pepper. I totally cheat, it's not fresh ground, but don't tell anybody. And I'm gonna add in one, I call about one and a half teaspoons of salt. And then I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of regular mild chili mix. Now, um, okay, so all my seasonings are in there and they're just looking gorgeous. Okay, so now that my meat and my shallots or onion, whatever you have, is nice and um, caramelized with my spices. I'm going to add in two cups of organic chicken stock. And if you want this thicker, you can add a little less liquid. If you want it to be more soup-based, then you can add a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna add right at two cups. I'm gonna add a little bit more than I might need to just because this is gonna go in my slow cooker for about three hours. Now, the great thing about this recipe, if you don't wanna to have to set it early, and I have to set it early because I teach online, so when I'm done with this, I'm gonna run back upstairs to teach. But if you want to do this all on the stove, the total cook time is 30 minutes. So this is a great slow cooker recipe, and it's also a great on the stove and dinners in 30 minutes recipe. Um, so I love that. So I'm just going to take my slow cooker back to the slow. I'm gonna set it over to low, and I'm gonna set the time for, oh, I should be good for five hours. That way I know that it'll still be cooking and I can turn it off. And about an hour before I'm ready to serve, I'm gonna add in one rinsed can of Great Northern Beans. Um, I only like to do one can, you could do two, but the way that my family likes to eat it, I'm just gonna do one can. So I'm gonna wait until um, about an hour before to add in my beans and then I'll come back and I'll show you how we finish this up. Bye. 